What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Let's talk about eyes. One eye, two eye. How many eyes do you keep open when you shoot? A lot of instructors have a lot of opinions, a lot of people, a lot of your friends, a lot of your family members probably have taught you to shoot a certain way. A lot of old school people, or a lot of people who learned how to shoot back in the day, probably learned bullseye shooting and learned a lot of closing their non-dominant eye. So you would extend out and close your left eye if I'm right eye dominant and you aim down just with one eyeball. Now, modern day tactics have taught a lot of people to keep both eyes open because you want to keep an eye on your surroundings and you want to have a really big, large sight picture everywhere and other reasons. But generally, they're talking with the red dots for sure. They'll always tell you keep both eyes open because it kind of simulates the red dot on a rifle or a long gun. And you can keep both eyes open and keep a great sight picture and still be able to see your dot no matter where it's at. Now there's people in both camps. There's people that will tell you, you have to keep both eyes open no matter what you're shooting, rifles, pistols, red dot, iron sights, no matter what, both eyes open. And then there's other people that will tell you, no, if you wanna be super accurate, you close one eye, your non-dominant eye. I'm of the opinion, and this is very simple, there's no, there's no secret to this, do what you want. Do what feels the best for you and do what works for you. I am an instructor. I have taught many people on the range who have never shot before, people who have never touched a gun in their life, and then people who have done a fair amount of shooting, but they still had to qualify for our state, Ohio, CCW test. So when shooting with all these different types of people, I learned one thing. You can't force anything on them, especially not when they're a new shooter. Now, later on, if you want to develop a certain style or a certain way of doing things, then, you know, make the reasons why or why not you choose to do what you do and then go with it. Train that way. That's fine. But sometimes when you try to force these things on people, it can be a little overwhelming. They're already having a hard enough time with their stance, their grip, the trigger control, lining up the sights. Let them do what they want with their eyes because here, we don't know if they have astigmatism. We don't know if they have any other kind of peripheral vision issues. We don't know what eye they're dominant sometimes. People don't know their own eye dominance. You have to, it's really good to do an eye dominance check just to figure that out. Some people are cross dominant where they're shooting right handed, but they're left eye dominant. That can be a factor. So don't tell them to close their left eye if that's the one they're trying to shoot through. You get what I'm saying? No one solution is perfect for everybody. There's a lot of what I'm going to go ahead and call the tactitards out there that are going to tell you, you no matter what, both eyes open all the time. You need to see everything that's around you. Well, let them live their life that way and do what you feel comfortable with. Bullseye shooting, sometimes I like to do a lot of bullseye shooting and it requires me to close my left eye. So me personally, I do a lot of shooting and I think I'm a fairly good shot. My left eye is closed for a lot of pistol shots. Now rifle, I go back to two eyes when I'm on a red dot. When I go to iron sights, a lot of times I can go back and forth. It doesn't really bother me. I can shoot either way, but I prefer to close an eye for the most, most part on bullseye shooting. When it comes to red dots on rifle, both eyes open. Now, a beaded shotgun, I close my left eye. And anything to do with a crosshair sight, anything that's not just a red dot, a normal crosshair hunting type of a sight, or a scope, a hunting scope, definitely I close my left eye. It's just how I do things. Let me know in the comments what you do. I'd like to hear a general consensus of what people do. Um, whether you're a new shooter, a uh, you know, an advanced shooter, whether you're an instructor, if there are instructors out there, let me know, what do you teach your students? I said tactitard, sorry if I hit any buttons right there, but I really don't like it when people want to go ahead and tell granny that she's got to go ahead and shoot like an operator. Sometimes just let granny close one eye and shoot her 38 pistol. There's nothing wrong with that, as long as she gets the hits that she needs to get. That's the thing with all of us, as long as we get hits. I don't think that closing an eye or opening an eye, I don't think that that's going to be the difference between hitting and missing the target. Now, there is something to say with transitioning to different targets, but that's a little bit more of advanced. Like I said, when people are just starting out or when you're just getting comfortable with firearms in general, or you're just having fun, there's no one way that you have to do it. Now, I will say, whether it's a pistol or a rifle, a red dot optic, it does seem a lot easier to keep that eye open, the non-dominant eye. For me, the reason I close my eye with iron sights a lot of the times is I actually start to get a crossover vision. I start to see a little bit double, and I don't want to process which one's which. I'm just looking to get a quick sight picture, see the front sight sharply, and take my shot. Again, let me know what you think. So thanks for watching this quick video, and until we see you next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting. Maybe make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell.